Hi everyone, our subject today is proteinuria in pediatrics. Protein may be found in the urine of the healthy children. The term proteinuria is used to indicate urinary protein excretion beyond the upper limits of normal. 100 mg per cubic meter per day or 4 mg per cubic meter per hour in children and 150 in adult. As many as 10% of children will have proteinuria at some time in their lives because this is a transient finding in a majority of children it is important to retest the urine before making a diagnosis proteinuria may be defined qualitative, qualitatively using a urine dipstick examination a trace proteinuria is usually not significant. Proteinuria, 30 mg per deciliter, may be significant. This should be repeated and viewed in the context of the urine-specific gravity. False negative result may occur with the urine that is too diluted, 1.005. False positive result may occur with the overlong dipstick immersion, alkaline urine, pyuria, bacteriuria, mucoprotein, and uh, quaternary ammonium compound and detergent. Quantitative test for proteinuria is done by timed 12 to 24 hour urine collection for protein. Less than 4 mg per cubic meter per hour is normal, 4 to 40 mg is abnormal, and over 40 is the nephrotic range. An early morning spot test of urine protein creatinine ratio in mg per deciliter correlates well with the 24 hour urine protein excretion. A value above 0 0.2 is abnormal in a children older than two years. For children six months to two years, over 0.5 is abnormal and over two suggests nephrotic proteinuria. This test is not valid in children with the decreased muscle mass, those with the nutritional problems. Proteinuria over 40 or over 1000 mg per cubic meter is considered as nephrotic range Nephrotic syndrome, nephrotic range of proteinuria, edema, and hypoalbuminemia less than 2.5 gram per deciliter. Microalbuminuria, elevated urinary excretion of albumin 30 to 300 milligram per deciliter or albumin creatinine ratio 30 to 300 milligram per gram. Currently, it is only used to indicate kidney disease in a diabetic patient. History should include question about uh, recent exercise, red or T-color urine, and respiratory or other febrile illnesses. History indicative of edema such as puffiness around the eyes and on a walking, increased abdominal growth, and difficulty putting on shoes may indicate nephrotic syndrome and should be investigated. Family history related to renal disease, hematuria, hearing loss, or hypertension should be pursued. Systemic complaints, arthralgia, rash, fever, may be symptoms of a disease such as systemic lupus erythematosus or hinoxial lime purpura. Physical examination, blood pressure must be evaluated as well as evidence of edema. Characteristic rash may indicate the cause like malar rash in SLE or purpura rash in hinoxial lime purpura, angiokeratoma in Fabry disease, ambiguous genitalia, Dennis Drash syndrome, dystrophic nail, nail patella syndrome. How to approach to child with proteinuria after performing history and physical examination? Is the patient symptomatic? Patient has hypertension, edema, hematuria, systemic complaint, rash, fever, arthralgia. If it is yes, patient need laboratory for electrolyte, albumin, cholesterol, 
بلاد يوريا كرياتينين كومبليمنت سي 3 سي 4 انتي ستريبتوكوكال انتي بادي اي ان اي هيباتايتس بي ان سي سيرولوجي اتش اي في تيست رينال الترا ساوند ريفيرال تو نفرولوجيست ديفرنشال دايجنوسيس Glomerulonephritis, nephrotic syndrome, minimal change, idiopathic, IgA, nephropathy, SLE, vasculitis, glomerulonephritis, tumor, drugs, toxin, congenital, uh, like uh, finish type, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, tuberointerstitial disease, reflex nephropathy, tubular toxin, drugs, heavy metal, antibiotic, cystinosis, Wilson disease, Lewis syndrome, proximal RTA, acute tubular necrosis, hypokalemia, cystic disease, infection, hepatitis B, C, and adenovirus. If the patient is symptomatic, has uh, no hypertension, edema, hematuria, or other uh, systemic, is there history of fever, exercise, cold exposure, dehydration, stress, seizure, heart failure? If it is yes, repeat urine analysis. If it is negative for protein, this is transient uh, functional proteinuria. If it is no, there is no history of fever exercise. Uh, first, morning void. Repeat urine analysis, urine protein, creatinine ratio. If there is no protein and urine creatinine ratio less than 0.2, test for orthostatic proteinuria. If it is positive, this is orthostatic proteinuria. If it is negative or if the patient have a positive protein or urine creatinine more than 0.2, repeat uh, protein creatinine one to two weeks later or a quantitative measurement of proteinuria. Urine protein creatinine more than 0.2 or urine protein more than 4 mg per cubic meter per hour. This is persistent asymptomatic proteinuria. Patient need the same approach to a patient with asymptomatic proteinuria. Classification. Transient proteinuria often associated with high fever, cold, stress, dehydration, and exercise. It is not associated with the underlying renal disease and by definition is absent on subsequent urine examination. Usually resolved within 10 to 14 days of the illness with the sternus exercise, habitate within 48 hours. Orthostatic or postural proteinuria, elevated protein excretion when the subject is upright and ambulating but uh, normal during recombinant position. It is most commonly occur in school age children and adolescent and rarely exceed one gram per cubic meter per day. Persistent or fixed proteinuria, urinary devastic, one or more plus in the first morning urine specimen on multiple occasion for a period more than three months require prompt referral to nephrology. Glomerular proteinuria, the amount of proteinuria may be ranged from less than uh, 1 plus uh, 1 to more than 30 mg per deciliter. It is usually found in the context of edema and hypoalbuminemia. If there is a mixed nephrotic nephritic picture, there may be associated hypertension, abnormal glomerular filtration rate, and hematuria. The majority, major urinary component is albumin. Tubular proteinuria, rarely more than 1 gram per deciliter, and is not associated with edema. It may be associated with the other defects of the proximal tubular function like glucosuria, phosphaturia, amino aciduria, and tubulointerstitial process. The major marker is beta-2 microglobuli. Alert. Most patients with the proteinuria will have orthostatic proteinuria that is identified with an early morning test for protein and second test several hours later. It is important to check the urine sediment for the red uh, cell cast. This indicates a glomerular involvement and require additional study 
for nephritis and chronic renal disease. Minimal change in nephrotic syndrome is more common in boys and usually appear between age 2 and 6 years. Urine analysis show a 3 plus to 4 plus proteinuria and there may be microscopic hematuria. Renal function may be reduced, cholesterol and triglyceride are elevated and serum albumin is decreased, C3 level is normal. Note, nephrotic syndrome may occur with the external neoplasm such as carcinoma and lymphoma like Hodgkin disease. Nephrotic syndrome in infants Children younger than when, uh, age 1 year with nephrotic syndrome have a poor prognosis. Congenital nephrotic syndrome, Finnish type, is most common cause. It is an autosomal recessive condition and may occur as failure to thrive due to massive proteinuria. Secondary causes in infant uh, below 1 year or 2 year Infection such as syphilis Toxoplasmosis, cytomegalovirus, robella, hepatitis B, HIV, or malaria. A drugs, toxin like mercury. SLE may also cause. Syndrome associated, nail patella syndrome, low syndrome, congenital brain malformation, Dennis Tras syndrome. Uh, patient will have Wilms tumor, nephropathy, and genital abnormalities. Thank you for your listening.